Rhino gets a little tired. Courtney's here with your beastly two minutes of day huh? It's beastly indeed. Okay, so first up, we got a team of vets in Zimbabwe who rescued a wild rhino on Saturday after the animal got stuck in a sticky situation. It's kind of sad. What? A tire that got dumped off in a watering hole at Lake Shavero Recreational Park in Zimbabwe got stuck on the little guy's snout. Aww. I know. The rhino is affectionately known as Mark by park workers. Uh, it made eating and drinking nearly impossible for the beast, so vets came out, tranquilized Mark, and then removed the tire so that he can get back to doing whatever it is that uh, rhinos <laughs> seem to do in Zimbabwe. He's like, whoa, whoa. Ooh, that was a doozy. Some kind of raisin and right. right. Look at that. Oh, that Mark. Tail. Oh, buddy. Mm, no shit. Okay. This one, I picture the donkey being like, ah, yep. This is a very self assured donkey who spotted <laughs> confidently leading a very willing herd of sheep down a dusty road in Nevada. Now, while this was a little shocking to passers by who took the video, look at it. Yeah. That's how I do Follow it. me this way. Here we go. It's not completely out of the ordinary since many ranchers use donkeys as guard animals for their sheep. Donkeys' loud brays, exactly, <laughs> and strong back legs. Whoosh are just enough to detour most predators. And uh, given the opportunity, most donkeys will actually bond with sheep and guide them anywhere. Hmm. Who knew? Yeah. Just follow me, kids. I can handle that home. one. <laughs> I've driven through Winnemucca. I think that would be <laughs> such to see. So Imagine cool. if it just like is crossing the road. You're like, uh, what's happening here? I love it. OK, <laughs> this one, best story of the morning. I double dog dare you to top this one. Uh -huh. An author on a short flight from Charlotte uh, to Asheville, North Carolina, spotted an, an unusual passenger waddling down the aisle. Mark Isaac was seated with uh, just behind <laughs> Daniel, mm -hmm, an emotional support duck, accompanying her, his owner on the flight. He was wearing little red booties, which we're assuming uh, were there to protect the delicate webbing on his little feet. And uh, Daniel oh the gosh. duck also wore a Captain America diaper, which Isaac says the owner told him was Daniel's favorite. He's got favorites, people. Mm -hmm. Daniel is a flightless four-year-old Indian runner and was brought by his owner at a yard sale, people. Oh my gosh, I love those little Isn't that booties. Great? <laughs> <laughs> look at those little red booties. Little pop of red, you know, need a little color. <laughs> pop of color. A POC. Right? A POC. Now, is that a pass or fail in the Fort Fashion Corps that airport? That is oh, a pass. Oh, that's a pass. <laughs> that's going to do it for your two minutes of mayhem. <laughs> That'll do, donkey. <laughs> That'll, <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> That'll do. All right, so they come on good day.